Okay guys, Whew. we're just like knocking out these DIYs like it's like nobody's business, so let's get started. For this week's DIY, it's something a little different. Um, it's not for my house because I already have one. <laughs> if you follow me on social media, you have seen my incredible, beautiful bath board. Yes, I use it, I love it. I breathe, I live for it. I put my laptop on it, I put a candle on it, a bath bomb, then pop the bath bomb in. I've edited on my bath board. I've even eaten on it. <laughs> I'm obsessed with baths. Even if I didn't have like the jacuzzi size tub, I still would take baths all the time. They're just so relaxing, so comforting, so like zen, and like I get to refocus and everything. So I decided that I would do a DIY on how to make your own bath board because it is dirt cheap and it is so incredibly easy for years and years of comfort and convenience. Oof. Oof, I should be like a advertiser for those things. <laughs> I already have one, I DIY'd it. My mom has been obsessed with my bath board. So I was like, let's make her one. So I am currently here in her bathroom. <laughs> the things that you're going to need are measuring tape. Let's go. Hello, most awkward angle ever. You're gonna wanna take your tape measure. You are going to measure your bathtub. So from there, you're gonna bring it all the way, and my mom's has this extra lip right here, if you can see, which mine had two. So you're gonna measure from there to the end of that lip. Hers is exactly 45 inches. And then I'm going to measure to the bathtub lip. I kid you not, that's it. That's all you have to measure. So if you have a bathtub that doesn't have this thing right here, it is, it'll be even easier. You just um, measure to the end of your bathtub and I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so now that we have our measurements, we gotta go get some wood. Hello, my loves. I went to Home Depot and I got a piece of wood. I like these little imperfections because I feel like it just makes it look a little more rustic. This is a glorious tip. They cut wood at Home Depot for you. I had them cut it 45 inches long because that's how long my mom's tub was. I think this 48 inches long so it was like so close to being the perfect length so um, I just had them cut a little piece off I didn't keep the piece because I have so much like spare wood out here these are from all my DIY projects so there's like wood painter sticks like big logs this is <laughs> who knows who even knows if you don't have scrap wood keep the wood that you chop off so that you can use it for the next part I am using the classic wood stain from Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere and it is in the shade Espresso. I just love the dark wood look because I have a lot of white in my house but it totally just depends on your preference and what color you want. I'm just gonna get this sandpaper and give this a very light sanding. Always sand in the way of the grain because if you start doing it like this way you can see the scratch marks. So if you do it this way they're a lot less noticeable. Okay guys, then you're going to take a very gross old washcloth or towel or rag or whatever you, whatever, whatever you have. And I promise you, a little goes a long way. Okay, then you're going to cut your scrap piece of wood, depending on the measurement of your tub lip. Ours was about four inches, so we made the supportive piece four inches. So just for reference, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's wet, and what it looks like when it is dry. So, this is the finished product. I think it looks so beautiful. I am obsessed with this dark espresso stain. Oh, it just looks so yummy. It reminds me of dark chocolate. After both pieces are dry from your stain, you're gonna get the little piece and screw it onto the big piece. And two screws should be good enough. 
And then you have your beautiful, beautiful bath board. Hey Siri, play relaxing music. that didn't just look relaxing. Tell me you don't want to just jump into the screen and jump into this tub right now. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't show my mom because she's currently in Italy right now. So this lovely bath will be waiting for her when she gets back. <laughs> Guys, that's it. I think it's a super easy way to do something really nice for yourself or for some. Give it as a gift. And the cool thing about it being so thick is that it can hold so many things. Like you saw the laptop, the wine, the snack, the candles, everything. It's all just so, so, so nice. So, so, so relaxing. If you do not have this lip, I would still make this thing right here and just hang it over the edge of your bath so that it doesn't move around. Maybe I'll make more DIYs on different type of types of baths if that's something you guys want to see so this is it this is my lovely baby <laughs> and i'm gonna be using her all the time and i'm sure my mom is going to be using her all the time now too i call her her it's a her it's a her okay guys i hope you guys like this video i'll see you in the next one <laughs>